Hello, my friends. This is the podcast that brings the wealth of knowledge, expertise, and fun of Twin Smoke Shop, New England's premier smoke shop, right to you, wherever you are, whenever you want it. And that's Not Just Blowing Smoke. You can find us at our website, notjustblowingsmoke.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Not Just Blowing Smoke. Hey everybody, that was Jeff Pitchell's Fat Cigar you were listening to, and that means it's time for Not Just Blowing Smoke. Coming at you live from Twin Smoke Shop Studio Headquarters in Londonderry, New Hampshire, right here in the 724 Lounge. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, whether you're listening and watching live or whether you're I would suck. listening to the podcast after the fact on Podbean, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, iTunes, Google, or wherever else. <gasps> you may get this podcast from, there's just so much to say and not enough breath to say it. Mm, we're everywhere. Uh, I'm Pastor Padrone. I'm here with my co-hosts, Pat and Dave. Who? And, oh, I... Nick. <laughs> I am I am Pat, and I got a really he's, good tan in the past couple of days. He's Patnick. I'm Patnick. 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 Taking up the seat not... for both of them. Yes, I am. Yes. Trying to be comfortable. Yep. Mm. Trying to I'm be. I'm so a... used to saying Pat, it just rolls off my tongue. Just rolls now, right off the tongue. Now I'm not going to be able to say that anymore. You can't. Yeah. yeah. Well, you still can when he's on the show. Well, yes, yes. Right yes. now he's not on the show. It's just me and Dave and yourself. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So that is correct. Yes, I'm here, as always. Nick Oteen. Nick Oteen is and in the car. Dave and confused. Okay, and uh, this is the going dark episode. Yeah. Going uh, dark. We are starting off the with dark this. Side. Yeah, it's not a Star Wars thing. It's just because both things that we're smoking have to do with dark. So we're kind of smoking the dark side of things. Yes. Basically. I would go more with the DC thing than the, that Darth Vader thing. DC thing? What's the DC thing? Dark side. Dark side. Dark side. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, with the, the laser beam. The weird eye laser thingy. beam eye thingies. Eye thingies, just, which is amazing. Bad. You know, it's and, cool. And, yeah. And, well, this cigar that we are smoking is the CLE Aroa Dark uh, 1118, which is their TAA release this year. This is a size that uh, Christian Aroa made popular when he uh, was heading up Camacho back around 20 years ago. And um, this is called Dark because the leaves in this cigar... Wrapper binder filler. It's all Honduran Corojo, and they're all the higher priming leaves. And mm. because they have more light and more nutrients, nutrients. in them, they are darker leaves when they uh, age, age and ferment. And um, uh, so you end up, even though it's not like a Maduro, it ends up being a darker looking cigar. Affirmative. Hence the name. Hence the name uh, Dark for the brand. They they don't make a whole lot of these because those plants that they make these from are only about four feet high. There's not a lot of leaves. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yep. Yep. They are not the, they are the unhybridized Corojo plants. Mm. And so um, a lot of the, like the Corojo 99, you know, it's the way it's been, you know, genetically altered. It grows full size. Yeah. More plants, more, more production, you know, uh, this is uh, harder to grow and less yield, mm. so it's a much more expensive process. Mm -hmm. But um, I've always liked the Aroa Dark series. Yeah. Um, they, you know, when when they come into the store, I'm always excited about it because it's always a great cigar. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say, the 1118 size. One of my favorite things that he does. That is a very interesting size. I mean, there's nobody else. I mean, it's like, yes, it's kind of like a large Perfecto, but it's mm -hmm. not really a Perfecto. I mean, it's not tapered on either side like a Perfecto, but it's... Well, it's a got, Figurado. It's, it's, yeah. No, not, it's not even a Figurado. It's a Figurado. It's a Figurado. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. 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 No, it, it's, it's not a straight it's, tube, so it's a Figurado. Oh, so it's by a, default? By it's default. A, it's oh. a 54 in the center and then a, <clears throat> a 48 
at the ends. Mm, so it's yep. it's a very mild figurato. Figurato. But, yeah. but okay. it still is. A figurato. But um yeah, any shape that's not normal is automatically a figurato. What's normal? Oh wow. What's normal, Dave? Yeah, exactly. The cycle on your washing machine? No, yeah, what? right. The cyclonial washing machine. The cycle on your washing machine. Uh, that's no, that's well, it. When you say normal cigar, what is it? Not mean? even, not even my cycle in my washing you know, machine like is the, normal. Uh, what's it called? The uh... go. <sighs> but the regular cylinder shape. The regular <laughs> cylinder shape. Yes, yeah. is, yeah, is, is normal. Cigar. Is normal. With that. It's normal. It's normal. What do they call it though? And, and, Why don't you look it up? Why don't you fa- it's fact it's check yourself? Engage. It's, it's it's it's. No, there's a there's an actual term. Yes, isn't it? It's on the it's a, isn't it? On the boxes for Atabay, they say this. Uni- unidads, unidads or something like that. No. When or doesn't Steve? Unidad Saki... just means units. Oh, units. <laughs> what's what's the what about Steve Saki? He has one too. He he says the word all the time. Pareo. Pareo. Is that it? I think it's Pareo. I don't know. What, I, yeah. Just fact check it, Dave. Epicure. I'm not, get, I'm not uh, going uh, to this. Perdomo uses Epicure for their. Epicure. Well, that's well, that's for their Toro. Toro, Toro yeah, size. that's their Toro size. Mm-hmm. I think it's Pareo. <clears throat> Let's look it up. All right. Um. And what are we pairing with this? We are pairing Old Forester. Old Forester, seven twenty four. Seven twenty four is barrel select of the Old Forester. Yes, it, it, it should be a round cylindrical with a dome shaped cap. That's Pareo. Pareo. Yes. Yeah. So we were, cool. We're, we're correct. Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's only our job. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Is it? Is it our job? <laughs> I have a strange urge to have this big star going across the screen right now. <laughs> the says, more, the you, more know. you know. <laughs> the more you, I need to get that. Right? Little uh, graphic, right? uh, the more you oh, know. my gosh. So I, I think the, the bourbon is actually pairing really well with this. Mm. I wouldn't even have it. Mm-hmm. But, but you favorite. know, there's wood, wood. Mm. Leather, leather, some nice, you know, cedary spice to this. Mm-hmm. Um, like a nutty, earthy. Yeah, it's really nice, buttery, smooth. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of uh, yeah, so a creamy. little bit of hazelnut, nutmeg oh, in there, and some baking spice. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. trying to I'm trying to fill in uh, the nuts. Pat's. I always got the nuts. Um, Do you use nuts? Uh, I'm trying to fill in Pat's shoes here. It's not doing very good. You it's need tighter knowledgeable. pants. I need yeah, tighter need, pants. Need tighter I need. Pants. I need. Uh, and uh, shorter lot, sleeves. And very short, short, short shorts. sleeves. Your shorts are we too can long. see him. He's yeah, doing his homework over there, and he's he's got his studying. he's got his guns out mm-hmm. for Kendra's birthday today. We yeah. got a that was his birthday present. That was his yeah, birthday yeah. present. He was uh, gonna go sleeveless. Yeah. He's got a he's got he's the got permit. His Belichick hoodie. He's got his Belichick <laughs> hoodie, um, and he's uh he's got he you know he's got the guns out, so he's got the. Well, you know, the hood's got actually the, down. I I'm proud of the boy for taking the time to study. Absolutely, I'm, I'm very proud of. Him. I mean, I me I couldn't be here. He's here every damn day studying. Yeah. I wouldn't be here every day studying. I couldn't even be at my house studying. No, in complete your wife silence. Would you be studying. Well, that too. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty oh, sure she would. Some with all the animals. <laughs> yeah, it'd I want be the lights. blankets around the eggs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was almost to the point where she wanted to get an incubator for the eggs, but I was like, oh. mm. Mm. I was like, there's forty. 44 of natural incubators in the coop running around. One of them's got to sit on the eggs. One of them's got to. Yeah. So mm-hmm. right now they're, I mean, some of the young adults, they're mm-hmm. laying, but they're getting broody. So, I mean, there's a couple in there that want to yeah. that wanna be moms. So. How much of a part of your life are the chickens? What percentage? What percentage? Oh, uh, I'd say 40 45 percent i mean it's it's up there i mean i mean we have 44 chickens and we have remember a third is sleeping yeah true i mean so i mean i i i get home i don't get to bed until about 11 11 30 and i'm up at four okay to work out you're probably more like a quarter sleeping (laughs) yeah i mean i get about four to five hours six hours like tomorrow is my day off so i'll sleep I'll sleep until about 5.30. I'll wake up, work out, and then I'm outside 
checking on the chickens, pulling eggs. Checking on the chickens. And then tomorrow we got to clean out the coop. We got to make sure all the chicks are good. And it's going to yeah. be a nice day, so we'll let them free range tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So, and we got to check on the little baby chicks because we got two baby chicks running There's around. A lot of hawks running around. Be careful. I know. So we have a family of hawks running around. Well, not running around, but flying around lately. So we got to keep a, a, a weather eye on the horizon. Mm-hmm. So it's. Get that uh, baby gun. No, I mean. Are you even allowed to shoot them? No, you can't. Oh, that's right. You cannot. They're protected birds in New Hampshire. Well, I think they're protected everywhere. I don't think you can shoot them at all. So, I mean. Hawks, you know, really? Wow. Yeah, hawks, really. <laughs> yes. That's a protect. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a protected species, but I, you can't shoot them. I mean. Because they're, like, everywhere. You find, you know, you, you happen to do that and fishing game finds out. See you later, alligator man. You're going mm-hmm. to jail, baby. Mm-hmm. So the last thing you want even to even out of even out of season, like if you're going to like, I have six turkeys that you know roam into turkeys. my yeah. I got six turkeys that six ro- turkeys wild turkeys that roam into my yard all the time. I thought the wild turkey you dealt with was in a bottle. No, no. Well, <laughs> I drink a lot of that. Mix too. it with Mountain Dew. No, ooh, disgusting. Why would you do that? You ruin the one on one. Because that's what you're supposed to. You ruin the wild turkey, but um. Yeah, I got six of them guys, and I mean, if you That's are out of, if you it. shoot them out of season, and they find out, forget about it. Forget you be, about you be going to jail, baby. You be going to jail. So, are your six turkeys for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> they're they're all males, which is which is weird because usually you'll find one or two males amongst the females, kind of running them. But, I mean, and I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. And somebody please correct me on the comments or the chat. Michelle's uh, watching. She'll correct you. Please do. Um, But I usually see only two males with a bunch of females. But lately I've been seeing a bunch of males. So they'll just kind of walk around puffed up and then relaxed and then puffed up again. (laughs) So it's it's funny. Sounds like boys. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, they're... They're they're the they're the gym bros of of uh, of the forest right now. So they're just uh, they're just hanging around all puffed up. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man. I mean, they're just oh, they're just pains in the asses. They are just pain in the asses. Not that they tear up the yard or anything like that, but they're just they're always in the yard. So well, what do we got? Let's talk a little bit about what's going on at Twins. What do we got, at Twins? Some other things. Um. October is going to be a really busy month mm. at Twins. There's something for everybody going on. Um, the 12th and 13th of October, yep. we've got uh, Mike Morales, uh, the Row and Roma Craft, uh, coming to the shops, and he'll be at the Hooksit store on the 12th, and here at the uh, London Dairy store on the 13th. Mm-hmm. That's going to be an awesome good time. Yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, we're doing a. Um, here at London Dairy, uh, up in the lounge at where we're at, we're going to do a, a kind of a speakeasy um, uh, event. Yeah, with him. that's going to be so a cool. A little experience, 20 bucks. You're going to get uh, uh, one of his cigars, a, a, a uh, Intemperance Volstead, mm-hmm. and a shot of um, the 1920 Old Forester. Mm. And there's going to be a Prohibition Area Era. Area. Prohibition era, finger foods and hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. What? And we're going to be encouraging people to dress up like the twenties, and come here. And he's going to talk about the whole intemperance line and what it means and the connection to the uh, temperance movement back in the nineteen twenties. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, of course, he's going to talk about the cigars too. It's not just going to be a history lesson, but Roma Craft is real big into connecting their cigars to historical events. And that's certainly true of the intemperance line. Mm. So I'm really excited about that. And then the very next day, the 14th, is something I'm really, really looking forward to. Pipetoberfest. 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 And we're having Kaz Walters come from uh, La DC and uh dan leonard the owner and founder of 603 brewery is going to come mm-hmm. and it's basically going to be beer pairings with yeah uh briarworks pipe tobaccos 
We we got we got samples of all the tobaccos. Nice. Dan and I sat down and smoked them. All. I saw you guys the other day. And he was taking notes what a horrible and coming job. up coming up coming up with uh, what beers he was going to pair them with. So you're going to get you know was it twenty five bucks? Mm. It's basically just co- cover the cost for the beer and the and the food. But you're going to get pair. You're going to get five different tastings of beers. Nice. Five different beers. They're they're fresh baked soft pretzels oh. with a beer cheese. Dip oh, I'm going. And charcuterie boards. You're working from the six oh, three Saturday off. Nice. And um, it's it's going to be an awesome time. We're going to have Briarworks pipes available as well. It's going to be a really really great event. I'm I'm looking forward to it. That's awesome. the the 14th of October from 12 to 4. And then the real big thing is October 20th. Ooh. Uh, and that's here at London Dairy. And the big event that day is Rocky Patel is coming into town. And he will be here all day. We're doing a big event with him. And that day also happens to be Kurt Kendall's 60th birthday. I thought we weren't supposed to say that on the air. I'm saying it. Damn. Damn, he's blowing it up. All right. KK turns 60. (laughs) Jesus. 6-0. Big man. Yep. Big so, man turns six zero. We're Holy gonna moly. have, and I'll talk more as the, as the date gets closer, but uh, about the details for uh, what's going on that day. But Rocky Patel will be here, big event with him, and then it's going to end up here at the uh, uh, lounge and the bar. We're gonna have a big party for Kurt. Oh, it's, gonna, it's be crazy. gonna be a really really good time. We're actually gonna do a special recording of not just blowing smoke that night with yep. Rocky Patel and Kurt. And um, really looking forward to that. Hell yeah. It's going to yep. be a great time. Yep. So that's about what's going on at Twins. Oh, man. Uh, what have you guys been up to? What, what's, what's, what's been oh, man. going on in your life this past week and weekend? Just cutting wood. Just, yeah, just pretty much chickens cutting wood Jeez. and trying to enjoy the weather that we've been kind of having. Given. Yeah, that's been given to us. I mean, mm-hmm. it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, the weather up here has just been, if it's not sunny, it's just depressingly raining all the time. Like, today is rain. Tomorrow is going to be nice. It, hopefully, what, until probably Friday, Saturday is going to be nice, too. But, I mean, for me, it's all about just trying to finish up on yard work and chores outside and mm-hmm. before the ice-cold weather is going to be getting here yeah. soon and yeah. i mean it's already i mean at night it's already hitting 55 50 degrees at night yeah so i mean you know those nice nights of 70 degree weather where you can kind of sit outside without a sweater on is uh mm-hmm. slowly dwindling you know what i mean so it's getting it's getting pretty close to the fireplace yeah mm-hmm. i mean that's i mean it i mean the summertime and fireside the summertime has gone so quickly oh so to gosh, get back yes. to the turkeys yeah turkeys what do turkeys. you got so so the uh the male turkeys form their own flocks nice depending on population size these might too be segregated by age and classes and there's a pecking order of course yes, you know of course. birds um, of course there's a pecking order. young male turkey turkey is commonly called jakes they band together <laughs> Mm-hmm. So that's what you saw—a bunch of jakes. I might. Have. And uh, older males form their own groups. All these turkey flocks will likely be located in different parts of a forest. Ah, yeah. which is my forest. Yep. <laughs> in the mm-hmm. back of my house. <laughs> oh my gosh, the cigar is burning fantastic. By mm-hmm. the way, yes, it is. Yep. So good. Mm-hmm. So damn good. Well, thank you for that enlightenment, Dave. I appreciate yep. it. Okay. You know what the the cool thing you know I'm I'm uh, you know working as a bridge pastor part time at this church down in Watertown mm-hmm. and they know that my full time job is here <laughs> and no and, drinking. and you know they they know I work with cigars and there's a bunch of people there wow. that enjoy cigars nice there's a number of them that are thinking about making it what would be the 45 minute trek up here to, oh it would be yeah. Uh, to see me and stuff but it's gotten to the point where i'm uh you know i'm going down there and after the service is over you guys have a look a little I'm, smoking well smoking i'm handing thing. out cigars to oh people. have you seen this can you get this i really i haven't had this forever i can see i can, I can see, see danny so i go out and 
Oh, that's one of my favorite cigars. Yeah, see, I remember. Glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. So it's just I can like see that Danny here, in the middle, you, like like in the cat, and like in the Catholic Church, in the middle of the ceremony, everybody lines up for the bread of Christ. Yeah, 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 Danny's yeah, up there handing out cigars. Amen. Uh, yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Just wait, wait for Ash Wednesday to come yeah, out. Yeah, 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 gonna be up there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tap it on there. Peace, <laughs> may peace be with peace, you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, brother. Yeah. You can so, see Danny definitely doing that. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's it's just it, it's the first church I've you know where they're just like they're they just they're accept okay, it. They're okay with it. Well, that's you know? awesome, and man. Very, and so you know we're just passing stuff around at the you know end of church you know, want to get together plate you're gonna be there on cigars. friday up I know, right? yeah, the yeah, I'll be there on friday. you want to come over and have a sure I'll danny's come gonna have a do with like a second sermon at the end mm -hmm. for everybody that wants to smoke on the uh, outside yeah outside in the parking lot yeah. and he'll you know bless the cigars and everybody kind of do like a little round table of yeah. uh a little bible study and of, uh, uh, holy smokes I did, yeah. a, I did a children's message this sunday and i was talking about uh counterfeits and i said you know anything that's worth anything has counterfeit and i and i said you know money has counterfeits watches have counterfeits cars. i said did you know cigars have counterfeits and people in the in the in your congregation just started to laugh and look up it's true it's big it's, business it's true, counterfeiting huh? cigars yeah. and it, i would never have been able to get away with that somewhere else oh god no you know my god so it, that, that was a lot of fun it was a lot well, of fun good. being able to talk about that so what you been up to dave yeah what do you do starfield Starfield. Starfield. Yep. That's new, like the new. Game. Yep. That's like the new game in on in town, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the creators, the people who made Skyrim, people who did Fallout. So it's, it's a, a huge it's open a world. New, it's their first new IP in 25 years. Mm. So all they've been making is like you know Star, uh, things, you know Elder Scrolls mm -hmm. and Fallout and stuff like that. This is their first new uh, Space Odyssey that they've made in over. They they've been literally have been wanting to do this for twenty five years. It's wow! Crazy. What kept them from doing? Uh, the success of all the other games. You know how long mm -hmm. it actually took in the. Uh, you know, and now that Microsoft owns Bethesda, it's kind of like the financial stress is kind of gone. Yeah, I guess <laughs> so, so. They can kind of like be like, all right, let's let's do this. So, uh, you know, and uh, it's it's crazy. Like there's a. Uh, takes place in the in the milky way galaxy and it's like hundreds of years in the future and earth is a a gray ball it's totally destroyed we ruined it but <laughs> not before we were not far enough. off <laughs> not not before we left so um but i like it a lot because it's very um they did a lot as far as uh trying to stay close to uh how physics work and stuff like that yeah uh like for instance there's no warp speed you know you would just basically bend space time and 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 hop from where well, you are to where you go there's no no travel time or anything like that's that. that's interesting because cause... you can't you can't travel at the speed of light that's just not 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 possible well so well the uh the other fun things too is like when you're targeting a ship you can hit their gravity drive so they lose gravity, and then you can dock them and go in in zero gravity. But when you fire a weapon, it'll it, its concussive force will fly you around. So you have to board with weapons. That, like, if you went on with a shotgun, you would just fling yourself back at the same force that the bullet comes out of. And it's wicked funny because you'll just kill Bounce yourself. Around. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. <clears throat> that sounds very to, frustrating. Yeah. Well, you have to prepare. Yeah. You have to know what you can't just go mm -hmm. in and be like, oh, you gotta, know. You yeah. gotta know what you're doing. No. Yeah. But the fact that you can literally target their engines, disable them, and then board them, is, yeah, that's cool. It's yeah. wicked fun. That is. You know? And there's like literally cool. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of planets that you can explore and mine and get resources from. And, you know, it sounds cool. like a lot of fun. You gotta do something since you can't smoke in your house. Anymore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. My goodness. It's yeah. terrible. Yep. Yeah. That's a shame. Mm. But you got to do what you got to do. Yep. Hey, let's do our little uh, uh, 724 flashback. Uh, let's do it. 
All right, because this will this will lead to some interesting conversation. Oh, sure. here we go. Okay, the 724 flashback is a weekly segment highlighting historical events, brought to you by 724 Cigars. Smoke a piece of history. Absolutely yeah. illegal. And on this date, September 18th, 2009, you guys are gonna laugh. <clears throat> the soap opera, The Guiding Light, broadcast its final episode. Yeah. Now, that <laughs> what? That I don't even know. Ending that a seventy-two year run. What? Seventy-two consecutive years of being on the air. It started as a radio show on June thirtieth. Um, uh, no, on January twenty-fifth, nineteen thirty-seven. What? And then in um, nineteen fifty-two, it went on to TV on to CBS where it aired for 57 years as a television show until 2009. What's the name of the show? The Guiding Light. You never heard of The Guiding Light? No. Oh, I've only on. I've only <clears throat> known what is it? General Hospital. General Hospital. That's another long running one. Yeah. It's oh like, yeah. It's still going. You know, these soap operas, you remember growing up, Dave? I mean, they were big. Moms all over the they they would get the kids to school, get all the chores done, and then they would start at like noon and they would watch all these soap operas wow and you know i would remember going over to friends houses and you know whether it was the guiding light or general hospital or what are some of the other ones that, murder she wrote well that that's not a soap opera but another <laughs> long-running show <laughs> yeah it was. but it's like days god, of our lives days of our lives that's yeah. what i was trying to think of these are the days of our lives. God help you if you interrupted those women while they were watching this soap opera. I don't even terrible. know, man. But, but 72 years. You could live an entire life from the moment you were born until the day you died watching this show. Yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And, you know. Kind of like The Simpsons. But, you know, I, I, and one of the things that was just super addictive about these, I mean, when I was in when I was in middle school, I got really sick, and I had to be home for like I, I missed most of the year in school, and there's only yeah, so much. You had mono or something. There's right? only there's, yeah, there's only so much you can do, and so one of the shows I got into was General Hospital. Wow. Uh, the whole Luke and Laura thing. I mean, it was, it was yeah. I, you don't know what that means. I don't I'm know so any glad of that. You don't know I what know that what means. that means. Yeah. But here's here's the scary thing. So I watched it for like a year, right? I could go back to that show four years, five years, six years later, and I would I would be able to pick up what was going on. Damn. And who the character? It was ridiculous. It, it, it you just knew what was going on wow. because it got you so you got so into things and everything just kind of continues to go on oh, in this yeah. big arc and stuff like that and i'm and, and it's crazy too because they learn their lines like hours before the show the yeah show. because really they air, you know they air like, every, they air every like, day yeah they air every day. Yeah. yeah so wow. who, who is that actor who started doing like other stuff nathan fillion nathan fillion and the, you know he was always he always had his lines like memorized and everybody else was like how do you do this we can't keep up you know and he was just you know that's just he's he an amazing is, actor. Yeah. He is. He is. And, um, but here's the thing. I mean, I'm so glad, you know, in a lot of ways that that show ended. <laughs> and some of these other soap operas finally ended. They just did so much of keeping people jammed in front of the TV, you know, doing nothing, worrying about stuff that is not real. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, what, what kind of shows or things are you addicted to? Oh, gosh. So lately, this is all Teresa. This is your fault. So if you say Grey's Anatomy, I'm gonna come over there. No, no, she wouldn't watch Grey's Anatomy. No, oh, thank that's, that's another one of these things. Like 20 yeah, years. Yeah, it's worse. Grey's Anatomy is gone worse. for a while. Mm. So I've got addicted to watching this show called Below Deck. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh Jesus! Yeah. I used to have yeah. to when I worked at the jail. That was that was one of like the five channels that they were allowed to watch because there was certain channels that they couldn't they couldn't watch MTV they couldn't do VH1 yeah. stuff like that. It'll they be up watch to like VH1. one o'clock in the morning, like watching and, it. and I, I just, mean I can't everybody like, used to watch. It'll leave like on a cliffhanger, and I'll have to like stay up for, just to get to the like. Hopefully they'll end it. Oh my god, mm. below deck. Yeah, oh. yep. me, uh, it's not. It's more. 
So I, I'm a I'm a big anime guy. So for me, it's usually trying to find. Rod, Rod says genital hospital, <laughs> dazed all our lives, the young and the breastless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums it up there. Pretty yep. much sums it up there, Rod. Oh yeah, very true. Oh my goodness. I mean, the for me is always always looking for a good anime. Mm-hmm. So I'm usually always been watching. So right now, I'm watching the live action of One Piece. What do you think? I think it's pretty damn good. And again, I've never... One Piece is probably one of the longest animes probably ever created. It has like over... Over a thousand episodes. Yeah. It's, I mean, you would need like... I was watching a video the other day just to kind of give a breakdown of the difference between the live action and the anime. Mm -hmm. And they would say, they said that if you were to sit down and watch the anime from start to finish, or from what's out anyways... You right. would need over 600 hours to watch the whole anime. So I was like, yeah, I don't got time for that. Yeah. So I... I so proper stuff. Yeah. I mean, so I, I would, I've been watching the live action. And I mean, the live action's pretty good. I mean, mm-hmm. it's already, you know, it's already going for a second season. And the second season is going to be like the second third of... They're trying to fit the second third of One Piece into that live action. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, they're kind of doing a really good job doing... You know, I'm with liking the first what season. they've done. I've watched the first four episodes. I mean, the action's good. I mean, the CG's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. You know, the makeup and stuff like that is pretty good on on um, on the actors and Characters stuff. Characters are pretty accurate too. I mean, yeah. yeah. They did a great job. I mean, they did an unbelievable great job, job with yeah. that on One Piece. So I mean, you know, Luffy and um, yeah. uh, Sanji and everybody. I mean, everybody's like kind of really on point. So you like running home to watch One Piece? When I have time. I'll watch One Piece. Like it's like I said, the anime is usually what I really kind of gravitate yeah. towards. But then I'll do like I seen all of Manifest, mm-hmm. which is a really good one. That's kind of like Manifest, more yeah. sci-fi. Yep. I did that one. I did Fringe twice. Fringe is awesome. Fringe is great. I've Fringe been is awesome. That several yeah, times. yeah. I did Fringe twice. Walter that got really hero. weird at the end, though. Yeah, yeah it did. It, it was kind of weird. Hero, I like oh, it. of course. Um, and then like. Just like I can't really get caught up in doing shows too, because then I'll just leave it, and then I can't get back to the shows. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times I'll just do movies, and that's the thing I love watching. Just sitting down watching movies because it's two hours that you just sit in there, and, and it's, it's done. done, and you move on, you yeah. can move on to the next one. You know what I mean? So, but a lot of times I'll sit like the first, the first time I I sat and put on One Piece. I was dreading it because I was like, man, this better not be like another Dragon Ball Z live action. I'm like, oh, my God. And then I watched the first episode. I'm like, wait. I'm like, all right, this is pretty damn good. Yeah, they did a good job. So immediately, so I was, I was surprisingly, I was drinking. Or Avatar. So I was, I was like three or four episodes in, and I was, I was, I was had a couple bourbon. I was some wild turkey I, with my turkeys. I was. was sitting with me on the couch. And, uh, no, <laughs> the, the birds are not allowed in the house. And, um. I called a friend of mine, which he's really big in a one, one Piece, and I'm like, I called him like Melvin, man. What I haven't watched the anime. I'm like, what do you think of the live action? He's like, well, you know, everything is pretty on, on point, and it's pretty damn good. They already called for second, uh, the second season. So I was like, all right, cool. So I'll just keep watching it. Right now, I'm on like, I think episode six or something like that. But yeah. I mean, it's tough because I want to watch it, but it just keeps going, and I want to just be like, all right. I'm gonna, it's four hours because every episode is 45 minutes. So it's like, all right, four hours in, I got to go to bed. But I want to watch another episode because it's so good. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's why I like watching movies versus like yeah, watching shows and, and stuff. Kind of yeah, because yeah. it's one and done. So and then I, oh, new movie that I watched, which was really good, which is called Elemental. Yeah? Yeah, it's on Netflix, man. I oh, no, it's not that. on Netflix. I'm sorry. It's on Plex. But oh, Plex. I mean, it's. A pretty good end. No, it's not anime. It's um, it's made by Pixar and Disney, but it's pretty damn good. It's got some pretty good funny moments in it for a kids movie. I mean, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for my end. Just chopping wood, taking care of the, the chicks, and uh, making sure my pool doesn't overflow from the rain that we're getting. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus. It's What's crazy. that show that Michelle's talking about? Mrs. Saji. Mrs. Saji. Twenty six hundred. 
over and eighteen, over eight hundred, eight thousand five hundred no, episodes. She said, and it's, she said, oh, yeah. Yeah, she is that an anime? Just, she, yeah, she said she just Googled One Piece isn't in the top 15. Wow, really? the longest running. No way. Yeah. Wow. Some of this stuff has just been going on forever. Yeah, I guess so. Jesus. Now, I've never seen the, the One Piece anime either. Yeah. But, I, you know, I... I started watching it was like, this is stupid, and I turned it off. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Jesus, bud. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, but but I'll watch Below Deck. <laughs> that oh was yeah, not, nothing I'd watch on my own. I got which is on that, yeah. more than likely scripted because it's on TV. Mm-hmm. It's nothing, what nothing, else? nothing. Reality TV is reality. Nothing about that is reality. It's all how the producers want it to look. It's all scripted, but for um, your entertainment, of course, Dave. But I'm just, you know, one of the things that's changed with the world we live in now is, is the streaming end of things. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, you remember Dave, you remember growing up. I mean, you'd spend your life waiting for Friday night to come along. You'd see the episode and it's a two parter <laughs> and then you're screaming and yelling. You or they end you the season on it. it. Or they end the season on it. It's a cliffhanger. Yeah. And you got to wait four or five months for the, the next thing to come out. Yep. And now it's just like, Oh, next. Yeah. You're not I know. even commercials. Oh, nope. you know, Nope. It's it's just it's crazy. You fast forward or rewind it where you need to. You pause it and get up, make some popcorn, go to the bathroom. That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. Go take care of the chickens real quick. Come back, let the dogs out, feed the dogs, whatever you need to do, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember, yep. I remember when I first got into anime. It was Dragon Ball Z that kind of opened the door to it, and I remember running home at two thirty because at three o'clock Dragon Ball Z had that fifteen or twenty minute episode or whatever mm-hmm. and um I'd run home and watch it every day. And then I found out that you can go when I got older I found out you can go to strawberries and buy the tapes. <laughs> buy the v- VHS tapes. So I used to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Remember remember Robotech Dan? Yeah. Robotech. Oh. That was another soap opera anime really? show. Really? That was three seasons. Oh yeah, my my uh, or three parts basically. But yeah, my favorite. I liked the, the new generation. The end of it. That yeah, the new favorite. generation was the was the my favorite as well. Nice. Yep, that yep. was good. Star Blazers. You remember that? Star uh, Blazers. How you about remember Fairly the Galaxy Moon. Rangers? The Galaxy Rangers. Galaxy Rangers. That sounds familiar. It was. Um, nobody remembers it, but it's around. No. <laughs> no. I remember Speed Racer. I'm, oh. I'm that old. How about uh, the movie? I mean, the movie I thought was amazing. The movie was... The movie was... I want to like the Come movie. Come on, Danny. But I just... Really? I wish that they had kept the racing the way it was in the, in the cartoon, which would be just normal race cars and not this total CGI track where you're... You're basically right. slip sliding through the, you know, what do they call that? Drifting, drifting all over the place. True, yeah. You know, that was just kind of over the top. But it was. Did, it was done to be that same lighthearted comic book. Yes. You know. And, John and Goodman? John come Goodman. on. They were, they were great. John Goodman in that movie yeah. was so damn good, yeah. man. Oh. Uh, but I've been, you know what I've been binging again? What? And I'm getting mm. back into it. White Collar. White collar. White collar. No, is that? No, no, that's was, I'm thinking it was, of. It was on USA Network Gundam when it was Wing, out, yeah, and now. and uh, it's about a uh, the main char- One of the main characters is Neil Caffrey, who's an art thief, and he's caught by oh, the FBI yes, by yes. Peter Burke, and it, Peter ends up enlisting him as a consultant to help him solve you know white collar crimes Mm -hmm. and what's interesting is you know in in a lot of these things where you have the good guy working with the bad guy Mm. you know the the good guy is kind of inept (laughs) and needs the bad guy to help him out or they're clueless or or whatever and it's really the almost like the bad guy kind of you know like with the 
blacklist Mm -hmm. you know just kind of enticing you into his world yeah which is really where you should be blacklist and in and in this case peter burke is a really first rate agent and it's caffrey who's getting better by being with him Mm -hmm. and so while caffrey helps him out he doesn't really need neil to Uh. to be good He's really good at what he does, but he's better with Caffrey. Yeah. But it's it's Caffrey who's growing really as a person, being with Peter, instead of the other way around. And it's re- it's really cool. I I love I love how things and the 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 banter between them is amazing. Nice. It's nice. awesome. I love that stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Good show. Must check that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So what are our final thoughts here? Yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite cigars from uh, Aroa. Aroa, from Christian Aroa. Um, he makes about 9 billion cigars. Damn. You know. the it's a lot I mean, of cigars. He has, he has a whole, you know, big window in our room. It's got like, what, 40 facings maybe? Yeah. Of his stuff. And <laughs> it's probably like a third of what they offer. Mm. You know, I think he makes too much stuff. But this, what he makes is really good. And yeah. This is the the top of that. I mean, I've never had a bad CLE. I mm. mean, everything. I mean, all of, I mean, all the cigars, even down to the regular CLE entry line. I mean, the mm. Connecticut's, the the Prietos and the the Cheles, all that stuff, man. It's yeah. just damn good. He doesn't make a bad cigar. No. It's pretty damn good, man. He learned well from his father. That he did. That he did. Mm. It's pretty good. But yeah. All right. So let's put the cigar down then. Let's go. And move on to the pipe section. And for that, we're doing something special. We are doing uh, Gaywith Hogarth's Kendall Dark. Kendall Dark. Here we go. And that is a pipe tobacco that uh, uh, comes in a 500 gram big bag. In a shag cut. Shag. And uh, let me uh, read you what is said uh, uh, on the uh, Laodice website who markets this in the United States. Gay with Hogarth and Company's Kendall Dark is a, (laughs) go figure, dark, Mm -hmm. classic blend of Malawi dark-fired and Indian air-cured Virginias cut into fine ribbons for easy smoking. Malawi. Um, this is one of their strongest tobaccos. This is really? one of the strongest tobaccos that they make. And um, being in the shag form, this is probably the strongest way to get it. It also comes uh, in a flake, which I have here. Dark flake, unscented. And um, let me... Uh, See if I can take out one of these flakes here to show you what these things look like. Mm, there you go. Slabby labish. Yep. And um, in this, it's the same. It's the same tobacco, but it's pressed and steamed into a cake, and then it's sliced into those thin bacon-like uh, slices that I just showed you. And you can break those up, put them in the pipe. But what's interesting is the shag cut really kind of intensifies the flavors because it burns faster mm. and um it it's really i love this stuff yeah i have to admit uh you know i we knew we were going to be doing this episode you know several weeks ago um but i've been for about the last five or so weeks i've been smoking this on a regular basis i have too i mean yeah. i go between uh steamworks Mm-hmm. Steamworks from D and D, uh, and and this stuff. I mean, this stuff burns really, really nice, mm-hmm. really smooth. I love that. I love that taste that it gives off. It's like a. Mm. I got some. It's like a wild man. Oh. Stop it! It's like <laughs> a charry, mm. earthy spiciness to it, and it's just so delectable. And there's this really kind of finish of a very dark chocolate mm. like an unsweetened or semi-sweet 
chocolate with all that earth and spice mm -hmm. going on, don't you think so? Yes, sir. Mm. Absolutely. It's very, very good. Now, I get that mm. with the drink. Mm -hmm. When I was smoking this without the drink and just drinking water, mm -hmm. I wasn't getting that. And I, I was, man, if I was getting that, I'd be a lot happier with it. But, I mean, I am happy with it. But, I mean, with the drink, mm. it that chocolate note is there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do think the bourbon brings that out. Um, but now if you're looking for it without the drink, you might find it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking for it then. Mm. It's kind of like our Factory 57 cigars. Like once you have them aged in that Jack Daniels bottle, mm. you know you get that blueberry. Mm -hmm. But now that I smoke, when I smoke them, I can just get a very slight hint of blueberry now when I smoke them. Ah, interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good stuff, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, damn. Welcome. The dark side. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to have to try some of that, uh, the flake, and see how it compares at some point in time. Mm -hmm. Now, I got my my new old pipe back. <laughs> ready to rock. My new old ready pipe. to rock, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, I tried to clean it out as much as I could. And uh, mm -hmm. the other day, I was like, you know what? Because I'm probably going to be smoking this a little bit more uh, because most of the new pipes that I have, <laughs> I have to have a pipe stand. And this one I can just kind of put down on the on the on the on the desk and mm -hmm. have it sit. Um, but a couple months ago, I actually ran this guy over, and uh, row. yeah, good thing it was in the in the dirt. So, I mean, <laughs> but I mean the whole bowl was full of dirt. So the other day <laughs> I was cleaning it out, and I was like, all right, I, it, I got enough dirt out of there that I could smoke it, right? So <laughs> I, I started, in your mouth. yeah. So I put <laughs> no, it wasn't pebble, but I started. Uh, I was like, all right, well, let me do some steam work. So okay. put some steam works in there in about 30 to 40 seconds after I lit it. And I was like, mm, it's got some really intense earth to this thing. <laughs> but I know it was from the dirt. So, I mean, what are you going to do? But I can't taste the dirt anymore. So we're good. Uh, yeah. Good. You should have just cleaned it out with some bourbon or something. I probably should have, yes. Yes, sir, I should have. Okay. What else we got on the agenda, Danny? What else are we going to talk about? Oh, what else we got, brother? You know, I thought, you know, maybe we'd talk about uh, what the difference is would if we put uh, this in a pipe and smoked it. I don't know. You got another pipe with you? I do. I have one downstairs, though. Oh. Here, you want to pass that to Dave? Mm. There you go, bud. Mmm. Hmm. I mean, this is damn good. I don't want to switch. Mm. You guys are going to have to tell me what's going on. Look at that. Mm. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Similar enough. That's a nice pipe you got there, son. Mm -hmm. Christmas that pipe. Old black stem man that changes car with the light and everything. Oh, wow, a very yeah. nice pipe. What, do you, what is that, 7 Mm-hmm. What, a Christmas pipe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Nice. What year? Last year. Nice. Yeah, oh, Danny. Yeah. Jesus, I saw today, I was going over to inspect the pipes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I saw the new Christmas 320 over there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did we get any new Christmas 23 yet? I got oh. customers asking. Hey, and, and Bubba, Halloween relax. Pipes. Was that English, Dave? Can you, no, can you like... It's Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> From the bayou <laughs> down. <laughs> that, was a, that was from the bayou right there. But oh my God, that 320 Christmas pipe? Mm. Oh, I'm getting that Friday. Are you? Oh, I'm getting that Friday. That thing, that blue stem, that mm. bright blue. Oh, oh it's so beautiful, man. They, they're they looking really good this year. Mm. Oh my goodness. Looking really good. Yep, and you know what? It, and uh, um, Peterson just came out with their Christmas pipes. Mm -hmm. You know what just arrived at the fe at the uh, uh, distribution center today? Just today. What? A pipe? The Halloween pipes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got <laughs> Are we gonna Halloween get them? Pipes? Yeah, the Halloween pipes just showed up. 
a month after the Christmas pipe showed up. Well, and it's like you know that's that, that's that, kind that, of that whole little bit awkward. reel you sent me the oh you what, know, what, what, the, oh, the, uh, oh the Aragorn and, and <laughs> Theoden you know representing how much, how much time uh, you need as much as you can, can give me, me. <laughs> you know and they they make this reel where basically the uh, <clears throat> they're you know the Helm's Deep is between uh, <laughs> is is about halloween holding off christmas yeah you know and it's oh my gosh it was really good my so, god man i mean my, my wife god, is man. my wife is already talking about uh so my wife right now is in the process of redoing our 12 foot skeleton <laughs> that she dressed last year that is still dressed this year right now as the grinch from the Grinch stole Christmas. Mm -hmm. So it's a 12 foot skeleton. She has a head on them and her and her mother made from scratch a whole Santa outfit for this 12 foot skeleton. So now she's in the process of making Jack skeleton from what the hell is that movie again? Uh, the nightmare before nightmare Christmas. before Christmas. So she's going to make him the whole Santa costume, well, the, she already got the Santa costume on him, but it's going to be Jack Skellington. Mm. Oh, so, yes, Christmas and Halloween, they're coming quick. Well, Halloween's like right around the corner, but I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I just want the summertime to come back, man. I really do. I mm. really do. I want the nice hot weather again. I don't want to shovel snow. I just coming. the winner. What's the difference there, Danny? I see you got two pipes going there, brother. I got two pipes going, and you know, of course, you know the flavors are very similar. Uh, they're gonna be, yeah. But absolutely. the shag mm. that shag we're smoking, dark. the flavors are a lot darker and richer, and there's more spice. Mm. This is creamier, really, and doesn't have near as much spice to it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Dave? Yep, I think I think the, uh, the shag definitely has spice, more spice, and the the other one is creamier. Creamy. I mean. Yeah. Damn it! I should have brought two. I should have brought my other pipe mm -hmm. up. It's okay. It's all right. You know what? It's okay. Where's the sash tray over here? I'm gonna dump this out. Oh, he's gonna mm -hmm. dump it. Dump it, dump it. Gotta do it. Let's gotta do gotta it. Gotta do it. Oh, it's a shame because I mean, it was, it was really pretty good. damn good. You can always go back, get some more, put it back in the pipe. <laughs> yeah, where's that? Right there. Mm-hmm. You know, another show I've been binging lately alongside uh, White Collar. It really kind of depends on whether I'm in a lighthearted mood or in for something a little darker. Doc. The, the X-Files. Again. Again? Again. I mean, watching Ahsoka. I mean, I guess. Ahsoka? No. I watched the first episode. And I was real happy with it, so I'm gonna. No, I haven't yeah. watched Ahsoka. Um, X Files, huh? I mean, that was. Oh man, that was a show that used to scare the absolute hell out of me. Yep, yep. Oh and Mandy, my God. Mandy, still, you know, she was watching it with me and kind of enjoying it too. And then one of the episodes that freaked her out when it originally came out came on. Which one? She, she left. The one with the. Uh, Oh, there are two in particular. Which uh, which series is that? Or which uh, platform is that on? It's on Amazon. It's, it's on, on that Freevee okay. network that mm -hmm. they have. And um, I want to start watching. Uh, there's this one guy who like eats livers. Mm. <laughs> they did that in yeah. Supernatural too. And uh, um, Tombs. I can't remember his first name, but it was about this guy named Tombs, and he he killed like five people and eat their livers and then he'd hibernate for 50 years and wow come back and do it again and you have all these unsolved murders going back to the 1800s and they're solving this stuff and but the way just he could he could dislocate all of his bones and so he could like go into really small ducks and it was just creepy mm -hmm. you know and man he just could and then there was the fluke man you remember the Fluke Man the episode? The Fluke Man? Fluke. Fluke Man. Fluke Man episode. That was, it, it creeped her out. 
you watch it now and you're like, oh, come on, that's a guy in a rubber suit. But <laughs> <laughs> this is like Doctor Who. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doctor Who. You know, uh, I used to love that show. I but... saw the best shirt. It was a Dalek. And Dalek. A Dalek. Not and a Dalek. And at the end of its little like gun thing, mm -hmm. it had a, a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and it said, Caffeinate. <laughs> Caffeinate. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the best shirt ever. Oh, that is God. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Mm. I See, mean, now, the there's X Files. Another show, there's another show that's just celebrating 60 years. What, the X Files? Doctor Who. Oh, Doctor, Doctor Who. Who. Never still, got into that one. Still 12 years behind Guiding Light. Mm. They've got to make it at least 13 years. So I mean, how many doctors has there been? A lot. There's been like four or five, there's, right? No, there's been a total of 14. Really? Uh -huh. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Didn't uh, Mr. Cumberbatch was one of them? Nope. Nope. He was, he was asked to. He refused because he didn't want the popularity. Really? So he did Sherlock Holmes instead. and well, Which was good. Which blew him up, and now yeah. he I did now not. He's, you know, Doctor got, Strange. Now he's, yeah, he yeah. got all the fandom he didn't want in the first place. Yeah, I know. Nice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he was actually, uh, he, he turned it down because he didn't want the fan. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be that popular of an actor, and oops. Yeah, <laughs> oops is right. Now you're in the MCU, you can't get out. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but he's now great. He's got to portray it doesn't matter that. what he does, he's freaking great. Yeah, it's unbelievable. No, that's true. It's true. Oh, you know what show that I used to love watching? The Venture Brothers. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That was so funny, man. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good movie. Well, not movie, show. show. That yeah. was such a good yeah. show. All right, so have you lit up yet? Yes, I have. What do you think? What I think do it's you, disgusting. Differences there? Well, yeah, pretty much the same, like you said. More creamier, more well-rounded. Without the spice, it's it's not as intense, mm -hmm. but you still get all the flavors there. Yeah, which is nice. I mean, if you're if you're looking for something in the same, in the same realm, that's a little bit more subtle, that's not as strong, not as intense. Then yeah, definitely the dark flake is gonna. Did you did you experience like when when I lit it? Yeah, it was like bam. But now yep. that it's going, it yeah. like toned down immediately. Yeah, did that, did that happen to you? Yeah. For mm. sure. Mm. Uh, but it's still it's still really good. But I prefer the shag, baby. Why do mm. you prefer the shag? It's got more spice, and that's what I like. <clears throat> yeah, I like the uh, the intense flavor there, the spice. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm loving the sh I'm loving the the flake. I mean, the flake is like it's so smooth. I think it's sweeter. A little bit. I mean. Not that that's a bad thing. I just think that's a characteristic. Which is, I don't you know, know it's man. A it's quality. like it's, it's weird, but it's 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 nice. You get some really nice, evenly, well-balanced sweetness in there. Yeah, I definitely think it's more more balanced. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh, let's take mm. a little swig of the drink here. Yeah, um, try it with the try it With the, uh, with the drink. Yep, with the drink. <clears throat> Oh, by the way, today is uh, Kendra's birthday. Happy birthday, Kendra. Happy birthday to Kendra, the potion master. Sausage rope. Sa the claim to fame. Sausage rope. Sausage yeah. rope. <laughs> Get on her Instagram and blow it up, mm -hmm. people. Everybody that's watching. Hashtag sausage rope. Hashtag sausage rope. Get on her Instagram, Facebook, whatever she's on. Yep. Hashtag blow it up. Happy birthday, yep. Kendra. Mm -hmm. Hashtag sausage rope. Mm. <laughs> oh my god she would that would be a please do it <laughs> hell yeah oh no I don't want her to kill me mm. I think she could too well yeah I think she could mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. absolutely I wouldn't put it past her uh, past her <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh where are my drums when I need them oh my mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. No, uh, Two, Nick first. has been removed from the panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some good stuff. I haven't heard that one in a while. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sweet nuts. The sweet nuts. Mm -hmm. There's no sweet nuts in this. No. I'm not sweet chocolate. Sweet nuts and sweet chocolate. And, you know, this, wow. they're both really, really good. Um, but I, I just, I like how the shag just deepens all those flavors i don't know I get man the same i get the same thing but it's all deeper richer and yeah there's a spice and i can 
I do enjoy the spice. I mean, but it doesn't need to be there for me to enjoy it. I mean, damn, I'm really upset that I finished my drink, but because the drink really intensified the the flake more than the shag. I'm really enjoying more of the flake than I am the shag right now. It's crazy because uh, hey, hey, what? I'm just going to take a no, sip. No, 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 you don't take <laughs> sips. You take gulps. <laughs> well, it's tasty. Big gulp. That's his new name. Hey, it's big, big gulp. gulp. Big gulp. BG. That handle of turkey is gone. Well, I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, now I'm on some new stuff called. Hey, um, you're supposed to put it in the Glen Cairn, not in a frosty mug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> If I'm home, <laughs> it's my day off. I got to I'm right if I'm riding the tractor, if I'm doing yard work. It's like why even pour it out of the bottle? Just make it out, of the bottle, <laughs> out of the Bible. Out of the bottle. Exactly. Amen and amen. So, <laughs> so yeah, I wish my wife would have took a picture. I was I was driving the tractor. Mm-hmm. I was driving the tractor the other day and uh I was cutting the lawn and I kept stopping between cuts to go inside and and take a shot or a drink so i just said screw it i just grabbed the bottle <laughs> i was just holding it between my legs <laughs> while i was while i was <laughs> while i was cutting the lawn and then all i could think of was god the cops are gonna swing by because they do swing by once in a while around my house because it's a it's a cul-de-sac and i live down the street from the mm-hmm. police department i'm like man these guys are gonna come by yeah, you're on your own property They're i am but i mean i mean would they ever like you're on your own property don't bring them out stop and be like what are you doing? You can do donuts in your own property. Oh, you can, yeah. But I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I was driving around with a handle in between my legs as I was cutting the lawn, which the lawn did get cut. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> I did run out. I did run out of gas. Well, <laughs> it did actually. I was I was on point. I was on point that day. But I was like, I had a really crazy breakfast, and you know. So, but yeah, I I had some, uh, I had a, a few drinks that day. Uh, uh, sounds like you drinks. did. Yeah, which I do on a normal basis. So, I mean, yeah. You know, you got to have fun, right? Mm-hmm. You got to have fun. You got to do some drinking. <clears throat> got to have fun. Got to do some drinking. Yeah. What's your favorite drink? Oh, we probably <laughs> already went over there. What happened? Um, just chat, man. Freaking. Because, like, well. I could say it, but yeah. Go ahead. No, say it. Mm-hmm. What does it say, Danny? I don't know if he's looking at the same chat. Are you looking, looking at the YouTube chat? Mm-hmm. What does your YouTube chat say? Uh, there's there's a bunch of uh, they're obviously not listening to anything. <laughs> they're just having fun yeah, talking. Yeah, I know they're just other. having fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. we should, we should oh. talk about what they're talking. They're talking. Yeah. About... So what are they talking about? So it's Tequaco, a gateway drug. A what? Wet to fish smoke, seaweed. And yes, it's a gateway drug. Oh, stop. Tobacco is not a gateway drug. But uh, but what? Tokiwako might be? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yes, because ducks smoke quack. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Those ducks are. Yeah. And then Rod says value cigars are a gateway to premium cigars. That is absolutely true. <laughs> yep. That is absolutely 100%. true. One hundred percent. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, public. Oh, she says. Uh, Michelle says public intoxication is a crime in some places. So there you well, go. I might have been charged. It's not public with, if you're on, on you know, your private, own property. Private property. I mean. Unless yeah, I mean, so if he was on a sidewalk, then yes. But. If I was driving my tractor on the street while drinking right. my handle, then yes, I would probably be yes. pulled over. Yes, that's mm-hmm. driving while intoxicated. Driving yeah. but if while intoxicated lawn, or no, operating under around. the influence. Yep. This is America. This is America, so I can, <laughs> I can drink and... I love how Dave makes it just so difficult for Google, you know translate to put the captions <laughs> at the bottom of the screen <laughs> just these you know different signs you know it's, mm. it's like he's cussing or something he's not he, but well, who knows Google what he's saying i get a lot of cubers <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah that's right mm-hmm. ai can't do nothing to me <laughs> so beat the bed a minute. are you still on that ai chat thing man 
What, chat GPT? Yeah, that man. That thing is freaking insane, dude. Oh, my gosh. So you got to stop doing that, bro. Stop doing I'm what? You, it's man. like a part of like every single search engine you use now. So suck it. I use DuckDuckGo, so. DuckDuckGo? I use well, DuckDuckGo. Just, just because they, they don't they don't save you any of your information or searches or anything doesn't mean they don't use AI. I just I just got to stop using the internet and just look at the, the yellow pages. Good luck buying them. <laughs> <laughs> just look at the yellow pages, man. Just like, I'm all set. I'm good with the internet these days, man. My I daughter, can't handle my it. My daughter Ray is talking to a chat bot. Oh, God. And, and what she's Gotta doing stop. is using the chat. She's using the chat bot to to come up with story ideas for things that she wants to write. Oh my god. And so she plays a character in this story that she wants to write. And the chatbot basically helps her fill out what happens and Wow. You know, because they end up having this long conversation. Long conversation. It's 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 that's it's freaking funny. cool. Yeah. It, I mean you can cool. tell Chat GPT to like do whatever. Like, you mm-hmm. know, it's freaking awesome. Like, I mean, yeah, but I mean, how far is it going to go, mm-hmm. man? It's I mean... Gonna, dude, we're talking about humanity, so it's going to go to the deepest, depraved depths And that's possible. it. And then it's going to be over, because then it's going to be like, oh, humanity is a threat to itself. Mm-hmm. Let me intervene. And then, I mean, for AI to manipulate, because everything is electronic these days. Money's electronic. I mean, you're banking. I haven't been to a bank since we had to do a couple Sundays ago when we were short on the on the till, and I had to run to the bank to make change. Mm. That was the first time in, like, months that I was in a bank. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. I was like, oh, yeah, this is a bank. Uh, I almost forgot. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, everything's electronic. I mean, what we're, what we're doing right now is over, over, over Internet. I mean, it can True. manipulate that. It can manipulate everything. Mm, yep. I mean, it gets self-aware. I mean, that's the scary part. I mean, that's that's all fun and games, what you guys are doing and what your daughter's doing and making yep. up, yep. you know, and, and things. And, you know, what I hear online and a mm. lot of podcasts where, you know, a lot of um, college students are using it to write papers and everything yep. like that. But, yep. I mean, that's great. Well, you know I mean, that's good in a way, but I, I mean, no, it can't be far- that bad because if they're if they're if think about it. I mean, like let's say, <laughs> let's say, let's say there are aliens. Okay, <laughs> do you think they, they are didn't come up with AI themselves to assist them with technology to get there where they are? Like, so if they made it that far, then obviously. Well, how do we know that the aliens or the aliens that are out there are not AI themselves? <laughs> Who knows? They could, they could, right. It could be matrix, possible. Dude, it totally could be. But it could be possible. Mm. Or if there really aren't aliens, then, you know, we're living in a holographic universe and it kind of sucks anyways. Well, the Matrix definitely could be all a dream. Mm-hmm. Michelle, Someone. Michelle, do your kids use AI? <sighs> I want to hear. I want to hear. Well, my her. kids? No, the Michelle. chickens. Michelle, <laughs> she, you know one of our one of our listeners here. Um, he'll have an update for us next week, actually. Oh, awesome! I, I'm I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's been a while. Yep, yep. Well, you been know, a while. Kind of on the other side of the earth, doing all that surfing Fun and stuff. everything, mm. and then she <laughs> when she got there and found out that you know <laughs> smoking's basically been banned from everybody. Oh damn! You know. Oh, and, in New Zealand. Uh, in New Zealand. Yes. You yeah. didn't know? I thought we talked about that. Yeah, but uh, she experienced it, so. Uh, she so New Zealand. Was kind of New out. Zealand banned smoking. If you are born after a certain date. Yeah. You are not ever allowed to have tobacco. Period. What? Yep. What's mm-hmm. the date? I think it was. Uh, it was just recently. Like I think if you were. If you were not 18 by 2019, that's it. Was I 18 they by 2019? Wa- they want to, they want to, yes, you were. Okay, all right. Just want to make sure <laughs> if I ever just, take a trip to. New you were Z- working here. <laughs> oh, it was, yes, yes, I was. Yes, I was. I got hired in 2018. That's right. Oh, no, I got hired in 2017. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> Something like that. So That sucks, though, man. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, January 1, 2009. I mean, 
Oh, you found it? Yep. Oh. No, uh, Michelle found it. She's very good at okay, this stuff. Okay, I was just going to... And, yeah, she says her daughter what? uses it to tell bedtime stories. Oh, there you go. Yeah, now, Bye, that, that's true. Have you ever had... You know, you have an, do you have an Alexa at your house or something no, like it? No, I don't. So that's that you can, can be have Alexa, say, that can be hooked up to uh, China's AI, bro. Can, I'm all you set. Can, you can say, "Hey Alexa, tell Ray a bedtime story," and it'll tell this really stupid, inane bedtime story about Ray being in some. And it's just it's uh-uh, hilarious. Bro. I love that stuff. Mm-mm. Yeah, I always mm-hmm. I always ask Alexa, Alexa jokes and stuff like that, and you can ask it you can ask it to tell you like. <clears throat> anime jokes you can yeah. get specific tell me a, a one piece joke and she will and it's freaking hilarious i'm good yeah. bro i'm good so yeah um michelle says that if you were born on uh on or after january 1st 2009 do not allow not allowed to ever have tobacco over there oh my god yeah so there's a lot and you know what's going to happen you're going to see black market cigars oh i'm sure it's already i'm sure that's nuts. already a thing over there it's man it's going to be it's 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 just going to be crazy oh you i'm know? sure that's All already drinking and smoking that they did over there for the freaking lord of the rings and now they won't even be able to like no do it you know wow it's crazy that's crazy mhm like uh What's wrong with people, man? Well, what's our final thoughts here on the Kendall Dark? Well, the flake is better. I th- I like the flake you better, like the man. Flake? You like the flake better? Like yeah. The flake. I went back to the uh, shag. Yeah, I like the shag better. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like them both very, very much. I like They're you. both great. But I, they I are. like the shag a little bit better. I like the flake. The shag is just more my I think. My I think just the... Uh, it's the... There is more. Psychedelic. There's more for me. I can, I can pinpoint more of that, that full flavor mm-hmm. in there. The spice for me on the shag kind of gets in the way a little bit. It gets in the way. It gets in, in the, the way, way a little bit. Like, don't get me wrong. I love me a good spice, but get out the way. I mean, this get is way, way more creamier. Mm. It's just, mm, oh, mm. It makes my mouth salivate. It's beautiful. Salivation. Get yourself some of this Doc Kendall flake. But get with Hogarth. Don't yeah, buy. Nice don't don't buy the shag. shag. Don't oh, buy, buy the shag. shag. Buy the shag. Don't buy the shag. Don't listen to these guys. They're Be brothers. A man, They're, buy a shag. Don't buy the shag. Kendall Dark in whatever form you can get it. Yes. is awesome. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> good now, luck because we bought it. All. <clears throat> next week, <laughs> Joe Gonzalez, who's the new uh, Ashton rep, is going to be on the show. Mm. Tequila Talia is going to be on the show. Oh, That's going to be interesting. And she's bringing a new uh, rabbit hole bourbon for us to try. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll have an update and some oh. conversation from Michelle. And I'm really pumped about that. Hear about what she was doing over there. Whether or not she made it to those black sand beaches she was talking about. Black mm-hmm. sand beaches. I went to one in Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Those are awesome. BSB. Yep. And they're really black sand. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I it's thought it was nice. just like a little bit of black in the sand. Nope, I mean, nope. it is completely Be jet black. black. Really? Yeah, they have it in. Um, they have it in VA. Like, isn't it softer or something? Like it's like easier on the feet, or is it? Is no, it like hotter. No, is it hotter because it's black? No, I mean, it's not. But I mean, it turns. It looks like the water is jet black though, because the sand underneath the water. Mm. So the water is so clear. The sand underneath the water just looks. The water makes it look like the water is jet black. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, that it's awesome. Crazy. All right. Okay, well, okay. that's our show for tonight. Make sure you're here with us next Monday night, 8 o'clock. We'll be here. And that's not just blown smoke. Yeah, Bubba. Stay smoky, my friends. You've been listening to Not Just Blowing Smoke, the podcast that brings the wealth of knowledge, expertise, and fun of Twins Smoke Shop, New England's premier smoke shop, right to you, wherever you are, whenever you want it. You can find us at our website, notjustblowingsmoke.com, and keep in touch with us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at Not Just Blowing Smoke. Thanks for listening, everybody. And that is Not Just Blowing Smoke. Rolling with the top down, on a fast cigar.